What's going on my dudes one step here today giving you the beginners and basic rundown of what are mids in Mortal Kombat 1 and why are they so important to the gameplay because a lot of you guys have been asking me like yo why do people rave about having mids what is even a mid why do you need it so subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat and fighting game content and let's get right into it for those that do not know in Mortal Kombat most of Netherrealm games there are four levels of hits essential you have lows then you have mids you have highs you have overheads like that hit right there that's an overhead and then 99% of jumping hits are also overhead now I'll go over why mids are so important but speaking of those four levels if you don't already know lows and overheads the absolute opposite of the spectrum right here if somebody is crouching they will block all lows but if they're crouching and blocking they actually will not block overheads like this the overhead will still hit them now somebody standing they will block mids highs and overheads but the one thing they won't block is lows now, after all of that, why are mids so important? Because highs are really good, but they can be ducked just like this. We are throwing out a punch and my opponent is just not getting hit. He's not blocking it, he's just going right under it. We call that low profiling. And a lot of moves can low profile, meaning you'll go under highs and overheads. Now, missing a hit like this is actually way worse than blocking the hit. If you're just getting into this, I don't mean to throw too much at you, but here's kind of what it means. That square, the one that we're hitting, on block, it is positive three frames. Meaning if the opponent blocks it, we recover three frames faster than they do essentially before they can attack us. So we're actually what's called safe. Now, if you miss it, you completely miss it the recovery is 17 you see that right there recovery means we missed it we were covering 17 frames from our initial missing of the hit so if anybody does a move that as you can see here is six frames on startup they will start up their move faster than we will recover because they're starting at six frames and will hit at six and we're taking 17 to recover before we can even block so we're gonna get hit we're gonna get punished we call that with punishing when somebody whiffs a move meaning they completely miss it that's where you go in because it's far less less safe than if you had blocked it. Now, where do mids come into all of this? When you're crouch blocking, you will block the mid. That is the biggest reason right there. It sounds so simple, but that is it right there. You can duck the high, you cannot duck the mid. And mids will hit you whether you're standing or crouching. A lot of characters moves and their strings usually start off with a high and go into a mid a lot of the time. So whether it be like one, two or two, one, a lot of the second hits are always mids. So a lot of times you can actually just duck the first hit, the high, they with that move, you go into punish before their second move actually connects. Again, it's called whiff punishing and it looks a lot like this. So you can see it right there, we are ducking the first hit and then essentially between our opponent's hits, we are then hitting them. That is an advanced strategy called micro ducking. It's a lot easier said than done, but you duck a high and punish your opponent for whiffing. But when a move like Liu Kang's back two starts as a mid, that is really good. Because again, no matter what our opponent's doing, they can't duck it. And if they're standing, all they can do is block it. So essentially while you're on the ground, there's no way to really get around the mid. So I'm not gonna lie to you, characters like Liu Kang that have a 10 frame on startup mid mid is really good a lot of characters mids especially when it's a strain that starts off with the mid is usually pretty slow like 17 20 sometimes even 30 frames on startup and that is risky but a lot of times well worth the risk so when you have it very fast like 10 on startup not the fastest obviously like a lot of our ones they start off with six but to have that mid at 10 is just is really freaking good gears has one of his back one you see what I'm saying? But even that one's 16 frames on startup. And it's really good, but it's a mid. But you are holding back and walking back at the same time. So pressing back one, as you can see, that reach is pretty dang good. A lot of times if our opponent whips their string like that, we can just go in and punish them. Because what we're doing is holding back, creating that space between our opponents so that way they whiff their hits. And then while we're already holding back, we'll just press one, have that reach for that mid. So again, no matter what, even if we are too slow and they go to block it, they have to block it. Standing or crouching, it's gonna connect. And then move like that when blocked is negative four on block advantage, meaning it is negative four when blocked. And as most moves are six or seven frames on startup, this is still safe. It's not a bad idea to throw it in there. But then if you whiff, you have 33 frames of recovery, not so safe for you if you miss. And then Lee Mei recently just got a new string back to four. And as you see, that is a mid starting and it's a launcher, which is awesome. So Lee Mei just got a big buff in that aspect. Having a mid starting like that is huge. And hers is only 12 on startup, which again is awesome. That's why a lot of the times you see your opponent just like hold down and then press one 
and that's just a they're just poking you the reason why that's a mid and doing that is a really good interruption it's a low profile so if your opponent goes to, like grab you or hit you a lot of times their strings start off with a high and your opponent's kind of banking on that so they're expecting to low profile and just interrupt you and you can't necessarily combo off of that sure but again it's a good interruption so you're not doing your string or your special maybe they even poke your cameo and like they put your cameo out of the works for a little bit that's why a lot of times people will just poke they'll throw out mids and for garris forward ones also mid so having these mids they're a bit slower on startup than most your strings but the benefit of having a mid like that outweighs trying to go for the high a lot of the time it's especially good if you think your opponent's going to grab you because the grab is a high so you can duck a grab and punish their grab whiffing so you see here we're ducking that grab's not going to hit us it is technically a high connection so if you see the grab coming just do this and then punish them and now think about the mids and blocking though when you're crouching not blocking you will duck highs meaning you will low profile those highs however as soon as you block you throw up your shield essentially this hypothetical block shield extends up to the highs so you see here we're crouching and blocking we're still gonna get grabbed because essentially our shield extends up to the high point so you see we're crouching and then though we're blocking the, the high is actually still connecting that first hits a high and it's still technically connecting even though we're blocking but if we were to let go of block we would actually duck that first hit like this that right there is the biggest thing people don't realize when it comes to the highs and the mids and blocking is while you're crouch blocking your blocking shield again essentially extends up to the high point whereas when you're not blocking you're below everything high and overhead which is why a lot of times you don't want to block a projectile from full screen i think most projectiles if not all of them are highs and you can just duck not block you can just duck the projectile so you see your opponent's gonna try to zone us out with projectiles we're just ducking we're not blocking them and they are highs going right over us however as soon as i try to block them i will essentially connect the the projectile there and it will kind of hit us while we're blocking and now at this point we are taking block damage and we could die off of blocking the projectiles so if we're at a very low percentage you kind of don't want to do this you just want to not block them so they don't hit you at all and if you have a cameo that does a projectile it's very likely a high like serena's blades people don't realize it's actually better to just duck those and not block and to block those and take the chip damage like you want to just duck and not block like this so we see projectiles duck on them here's the blades they don't even touch us but again if we block all of this we will make them connect while blocking and take that chip damage and and of course you can see how the lows the mids the highs the overheads all kind of intermix inside of the gameplay and why they say the defense is the better offense the better you defend yourself the better offensive you can be because if you're smart on defensive you'll actually duck the highs make them whiff and then go for the punish and again just to reiterate myself a lot of times you see like uh, pro players for example they'll just duck they won't block they're counting on you doing a string that starts off with a high thus they're counting on you whiffing that so that way they can punish you if you're good at reading grabs duck either grab them back or just punish it that right there is why mids are so important i hope this video helped you understand and get a better grasp on why it's important to have these lows these mids these highs these overhead hits and how they all interact with the blocking system in mortal kombat 1 and how you can best defend yourself against all of that if this video helped you make sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe here for more mortal kombat and fighting game content take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more Mortal Kombat news, guides, reactions, and more.